Jan, earlier today you were talking about a European model for healthcare. Can you sort of explain that and compare and contrast it to the US Canadian model? Uh, yes. Of course, uh, the European model has a long tradition based on social solidarity. Mm -hmm. So that means that there is a collective responsibility to make healthcare accessible for the population. For instance, in Belgium, uh, almost 100% of the population is insured and has access to health care. So that's an important feature. The other thing is that most countries in Europe uh, have a model where you have to pay yourself, is a fee-for-service model, with reimbursement. There are also uh, other countries, like the United Kingdom and Sweden, who have more a national health service model, where you have a system of capitation and where people don't have to pay when they are accessing health care. And we see that there is a difference between those two, because if you have to pay yourself out of the pocket, that's always a limit and a threshold for accessibility. That's why the community health centers in Europe, they try to have a capitation system. So in Belgium, for instance, the community health centers that cover 2% of the population, we have changed the fee-for-service into a capitation system so that patients don't have to pay out of the pocket when they access a healthcare center. So I'm a little, a little uh, perplexed that the, the community health center you said it's only serving 2% of the population, right? Yeah. But the general health model in Europe, and in Belgium in particular, seems to be very open to the idea of a community health center. So why is there such a, a disparity between that sort of philosophy and the actual um, number of people that are served by community health centers. Yes, because you have in Belgium this kind of conflicting agendas. On the one hand, government wants to go for a solidarity system, uh, universal access and coverage of the population. On the other hand, you have strong unions of doctors, for instance, uh, of all kinds of uh, uh, organizations that are quite corporatistic. That means that are looking for the interest of the providers, and they are very strong. And that makes that a system that is based on solidarity with a high access, in reality, as it functions in the daily practice, is not that accessible. Now, what do you hope to get out of the conference? Uh, are you familiar with the Canadian system very well, and are, are you hoping to learn more about it while you're here? Or? Well, I have to say, as I said in my speech, that the ideas for the community health centers in Belgium came from uh, our contacts with Point saint charles in the late 60s and early 70s. Okay. That information came to us and was very inspiring for us. So I brought today, I brought this back yeah. to Canada, and we still can learn, I think, quite a lot. The European Forum for Primary Care which I'm the chairman of, really wants to uh, bridge the uh, gaps between countries and continents. We have our European experience, but there's so much to learn from the North American experience in terms of involvement of the population, taking care of, for instance, minority groups, which is very important, giving a place to uh, the traditional communities in the society and how you can deal with that.